sanatan dharma has been the has been a process of of peace of you know accepting all thought forms yeah accommodating every style of let's say worshiping etc etc and this is like this goes back you know i think ours is the 10000 year plus old civilization only surviving civilization and sanatan dharma if you look at the history was probably uh, over 5000 year old setup right but compare this with last 1000 years i think because we were too open to accommodating to welcoming to uh, you know peaceful happy people so to say i and i'm trying to you know just relate with that last thousand years if you see you know invasions after invasions attacks after attacks now our peacefulness or our accommodatingness was our strength yeah which got perceived as our weakness yeah and because of that you know enormous amount of invasions and you know british rule it ended with british rule and we kind of lost a lot to that now so two scenarios are huh? your accommodating nature and then thousand years of invasions somewhere after independence probably we started realizing about this yeah may, may not be after independence maybe recently last 5 10 years we started realizing this the moment we started realizing this we said let's reunite yeah let's reunite because let's bring our tradition our our ancient civilizations wisdom back now the problem today is whenever you try to regroup yourself you are perceived as a threat by somebody people think that if you are regaining or reuniting yourself you must be reuniting yourself to be against somebody you follow yeah uh, it this is how the human mind works whenever 10 people try to reorganize themselves in a locality others feel threatened yeah but i think the world needs to realize that the history or the tradition of sanatan dharma is not that we are reuniting again so that we are not taken up for a ride ever again we've lost too much because we have been taken up for a ride right we don't want to do that anymore so we are reuniting to preserve ourselves to nourish this culture yeah to create a better version of life with this with this ancient wisdom yeah that is the purpose why we are reuniting ourselves but as i said you know there are forces who will feel threatened while there is i i don't think sanatan will ever threaten anybody but today that's how the world has become you are you know if you talk about hindu dharam you are straight away plugged into you know this group or that group this wing or that wing yeah so there i think these are phobias somehow uh, i would say the this is the nature of this yuga the current yuga shivi uh, where even if you try to do good uh, people will uh, you know judge you or or they won't believe you 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 look at suspicion so that's the yuga unfortunately you know we are in uh, and then there'll be people there'll be forces there'll be institutions you know who will never trust the the true bhav from which you are operating from yeah so these must be those people or those institutions yeah because they would see everything from their own lens yeah and i think uh we must always be very very clear as sanatanis as hindus as you know as as sons and daughters of this land we must always be clear that why we are doing this are we doing it because we want to be against a certain nation certain culture or we are doing this so that we become culturally strong we become culturally wise we become economically you know better off yeah and we become more integrated within our own self you know as a collective humanity ha huh? not one against the other i think that's the that's the intention which we must always be very very authentic or clear about yeah as sanatan dharma or as hindus or as sanatanis we must continue to do our work with the purest of our intention as swami vivekananda did you know as so many other masters did yeah and not come under the influence or attack or or the pressure of the forces see if you start to fight with the dark 
you lose a lot of energy yeah you just you just can't do that huh? so the only way to do is you keep working on your light and your own conviction and to spread that light i think that's the only way forward yeah because limited resources and energies how long will you fight with the darkness huh? let's work on the light and the darkness will take you know the light will take care of the darkness itself you know you don't need to fight with that you know so that's how i personally view this you know i don't know if the world operates like this or no you know mm -hmm.